Good morning everybody. Today we're headed out to the farm. We're going to be doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, mainly helping out Blaine today. So it's going to be a long day of just doing whatever he's got on the agenda. I got to make sure I got my big helper packed up here ready to go. You ready to go to the farm? Yeah? If you can't tell, she's never missed a meal in her whole life. Goodness gracious. So anyway, we'll get on the road here, get the cargo packed up. Here's that binky. And then I will see you guys out at the farm. Uh, last night, we lost a member of the Smallville farmer community. My brother, BJ, his um, future brother-in-law passed away in an ATV accident. So uh, if, if you all could, please keep him and uh, my future sister-in-law's family in your guys' prayers. Uh, he, was, he was very young, had his whole life planned out ahead of him, you know, and it just, it hits right there, you know. And that's, that's a good thing about the farming community is we all come together and we'll help out and see what needs to be done. And, just, just please keep BJ and, and Maddie and, and their whole family in your guys' thoughts and prayers as, as they're struggling through a very sudden loss right now. So, As we're getting closer to the farm and the cold front moves into south central Kansas, look what's on the windshield. It's rain. <laughs> That's the first time I've used those in a long time. Oh man, we need every drop we can get. So right now, it's way too late for any type of rain to save fall harvest. But we definitely need as much rain as we can get now to get the moisture back up into the ground so we can get wheat in the ground so we can cut it next year or else we're going to have a tough, tough winter if we don't get any rain right now. So Bubba and I are out at the farm doing some chores, doing this and that. and It's raining, boys. This is the first rain we've had in a long time. I hope I Make it out of here without getting stuck. Don't get stuck, bud. <laughs> Don't be close. I'm surprised your windshield wipers even work. Oh, hell, it's fine. <laughs> Better check the radar. Yeah, there may be maybe a tornado coming. I might have to just cancel all plans today because we might have to rain it on. <laughs> so, first thing we got to do this morning is we got to take the John Deere Skidster back to the neighbors. We had to borrow it because a tractor broke down and this broke down. So they were kind enough to let us use their John Deere skid loader to unload a bunch of hay bales. So we'll return that to them this morning and uh, we'll go from there. Easy bub, easy bub, easy. That's not our skidster, easy. 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 Nice and easy. There he goes. Oh, there you go. Give her heck, bub. Shout out to uh, Edelhart Farms for letting us borrow the skidster. Much appreciated. Blaine and I just made her back to the farm. We're in Frank now. About to smoke Dad's wagon. It's not, not a good, good. place That's to park. That's not good at all. He needs to move his stuff. I think he owns this house or something. I don't know. So we're gonna go get a bite to eat. Then after that, we're gonna work a little bit on some stuff at the shop. See you out at the shop. So we just finished a little bit of lunch. The cold front has hit. It's nice and like 65 degrees out. It's been raining off and on. It has been a really nice day today. We're actually gonna go take a look at some farm equipment that Dad and Bubba wanna buy. And uh, well, I don't know, we may, may the, we may make an offer on it. We may not, I don't know. We'll see what uh, this stuff looks like. Well, 
I had to put on some warmer clothes because it's dropped. I kid you not, it's 30 degrees, if not 40 degrees colder today than what it was yesterday. But we're gonna go check one of our pastures and see if the windmill's blowing. And Dad and Bubba bought a tractor today. Ruby? No. Not me. Dad and Bubba. That nice Ford tractor. We own her now. Boy, you should watch out. We're big timing. <laughs> Seven. Well, the windmill is not turning. Right there. Yeah. So now we got to go haul some water. This is the bad thing about a drought. Is you got to haul water to your cattle so they can drink. Up. There you go. Well, we got the water going. Ah. Dank drought anyway. We got a half inch rain today. So that was enough to get uh, into the ground and it soaked up like that. You can't even tell we had half an inch rain, a mud puddle anywhere. Well, minus right over there. But that's the driveway, <laughs> that doesn't count. This is why dad doesn't let me drive. so I can open the gates for him. Well, no more than we started hauling water. The windmill turned on, boys. <laughs> oh, nice horn, Roy. They're a little bit thirsty. Yeah, well, we just got the cows watered. That is it for today. We'll be back at it tomorrow. We'll move some equipment. We might be doing a little bit of swathing, but we will see you guys in the morning. Well, we're out at the farm today, aren't we? Yeah, but the donkey's getting out. It's okay. We'll let him out. We'll let him eat. What are we going to go do? We're going to go check cows? Yeah, we're going to go check cows. We'll go look at my new cows I bought. Oh, yeah, boys. So there's some of the cows. If they have a purple tag, that means they're mine. If they're a yellow tag, that means they're dad. And if they're red tag, that means they're Bubba. But which one? DJ. The purple? sold those to me. We got the cows checked, the donkeys checked. Now we're gonna go move some equipment. Well, we stopped out here at the shop to give Grandpa a hand. Looks like he's having some trouble with the 1586. The high-low shifter is not shifting right, so we'll help him a little bit on that before we go start moving equipment. Well, we made it to the swather. We're going to uh, give the 1586 a rest. That's kind of a cramped space in there, in case you couldn't tell. So now, oh my gosh. So now we'll get all of this maintenance up and we'll get it roaded over to the next field. When was the last time that filter was blown out? Before this job. That's crazy. That's normal. You mean to push up on this end or? Uh, it needs to be turned. The bar? Okay. Hold on. I think that's an extra stick I can hold on to. Okay. Let's go in my toolbox. There's a little pry bar. Yeah. We can stick right here and bend that down a little bit. All right. 
Good old bait. There's some cotter, cotter pins up there where those little prongs are. There's three of them. Grab those. We'll move on to the tractor. Made it to the field. I got a tire that just about went flat. Not good. Not good at all. So we'll have to change the tire on this sucker. Well, we made it. <laughs> Even though it's flat. We barely made it, didn't we? Another mile probably wouldn't make it. <laughs> That's what happens when you use tires that were brought over on the Mayflower. They just, they're a little bit weathered. If any of my uh, subscribers are car dealership owners and would like to sponsor an extended cab to the small belt farmer, that would be <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> right, shoot boss? Well, Grandpa brought us back to the trucks. So now we're gonna go drop Dad off his truck, also known as the turd, so he can keep swathing. Then we're gonna go get some what? pizza. Pizza. Who said you can eat? Me, cause I'm the shoot boss. Yeah. yeah, but we ain't working cows today, so there ain't no shoot boss. We just did this morning. Where the hell are you getting pizza? Now, there ain't no Pizza Hut out here for a long, long time. <laughs> We're leaving Roy the turd. There's our feed crop. All burn up. He's out there swathing about right there. This is what happens when you don't get no rain. Well, update on the golf cart from the last episode. It's running. See, that just proves that the old retired guys can get anything done. <laughs> well, that right there is going to conclude it for today. Turns out Addison has a book report due tomorrow. We ain't even got a book picked out. So that's going to cut the farming short today. Got to get home and do homework. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.